Second semi-final is scheduled for three rounds, three minutes each round. Introducing in the red corner from Wrexham in North Wales, weighing 99 kilograms, holding a record from uh, pro Thai kickboxing of uh, 36 contests, 31 wins, four losses and one draw, and from professional boxing of seven contests, five wins, one losses, one draw. Presenting and introducing the Welsh warrior, Gordon Miners. And across the ring, his opponent in the pro tie kick record from six contests of four wins and two losses, Liverpool's Rod Lloyd. Referee in charge of the action once again, Mr. Steve Hart. Three three minute rounds of action. Right, so here we go with the semi-final, the K1 Battle of Britain, the heavyweights of the Aston Villa Leisure Centre with Showsport International and JKO Promotions. In the blue corner, Rob Lloyd, in the you, red remind corner, remind you, there's no smoking in the Gordon arena, Miners. thank you very much. Now, Gordon had a real war against James Zickich to get through to this stage. Rob Lloyd was probably 15, 20 seconds against Craig Amer, who had to retire with an arm injury. I've got with me one Round of one. Hughes. Howard, how telling will that be? Well, obviously, Gordon Miners has obviously been in one really hard fight. To be honest, Rob hardly warmed up at all, so a much fresher Rob Lloyd coming into this fight. Let's see how he does against Gordon Miners. Good low kick there from Gordon, stalking his man in the game. Um, very chunky Gordon, very lean Rob Lloyd, isn't it? But around the same height. And around the same way also, but again, the physiques look totally different. There's some low kicks coming in there for Lloyd, but really... Gordon's walking through those at the moment. I don't know whether it's wise or what tactic he's got, but he, he's just ignoring them, really. That's right. Although both fighters have uh, already fought once tonight, this really the first proper fight for, for Rob Lloyd. So he needs to really warm up and sort of get into this fight nice and early, because he's already in the semi-final. Yes, Gordon facing almost certain defeat until he pulled out a huge right hand at the end of the third round so we know he can bang he, we know he's got excellent knockout ability and rob lloyd has to be aware of that rob's nose bleeding already he's only had 15 seconds in his first fight but in this first round of the semi-final his nose is bleeding already and at the moment is that a tactical thing do you think gordon just walking forward ignoring anything that he does? that's right it looks like it's working for him as well Gordon, Gordon Miners in the orthodox position, Rob Lloyd in the oh, south big four. Punches there though, Howard. He went right through the guard, right through the punches, just to land three or four big bombs. Good job, Rob Lloyd. Missed that one. We'll be looking for his head somewhere at the back of the auditorium. That's right. Rob Lloyd having to clinch in hard there and try and stay as close to Gordon Miners as he could. Gordon Miners stalking with looping right hands. Yes, maybe a bit more patience and a bit bit shorter and sharper and he can take his man out but obviously after that first hard fight he's thinking I want this man out of here isn't he? That's right. The more muscular physique coming from Rob Lloyd but obviously the slightly superior power especially on the punches coming from Gordon Miners. There again you saw a nice round kick there from Rob Lloyd and Gordon just walked through it he's got one thing in mind hasn't he to get close enough to this man to really hurt him and stop him. That's right. A place in the K1 final at stake for both these fighters. Some good punches there, though, from Rob Lloyd. He's still lively, Howard. That's right, he's a dangerous southpaw. Hands up and long! Get your hands up and long! He's nose bleeding rather heavily now, though, from Rob. Nothing to worry about, they'll clean him up at the end of the round. But he's following a familiar pattern now. Gordon Miners stalking his man, walking forward, saving energy while he does it, looking for one or two big hits that will end this. That's right. There it is, there's one of them. There's one of them, Howard. Again, another looping right hand straight over the top. Catches Rob Lloyd. It looks okay. We want to finish this now, Howard. We want to finish this with another big right hand. And the bell saves Rob Lloyd. At the last second there as well, Howard. That looked very bad for Rob Lloyd, but Gordon set out his stall and a first round victory, you feel, would have really suited him. It would have done. That would have put him in good place for the final. Here we go, Gordon stalking his man, big right hands, and that's the one that takes him down, and almost a little hop there, Howard. That's right, a, a, a devastating right hook over the top, takes Rob Lloyd to the canvas. Yes, he's shaky, 
looked shaky in the corner there. It was a big, big right hand, and luckily for him, it was right at the end of the round. Rob Lloyd's got to come out hard on the attacking now, straight forward at Gordon Miners to equalise that first round and take a take a slice of the second round now. Corners, 10 seconds. Gordon will have been disappointed he didn't finish there with, with one eye on the final. Do you think he'll come out storming now or stalk his man again like the first? Seconds round? out. Round two. I, I do believe Gordon Miners will come out hard on the attack now and try and finish Rob Lloyd in two rounds rather than three to save his energy for the K1 final. Yes, he's looking for that big right hand. You can see him loading up on it, can't he? Tired time here for Rob Lloyd at the moment. He's fresh coming into this fight, but... Gordon's really changed that round quite dramatically. So a good little kick from Rob Lloyd. He needs to kick a little bit more, maybe weaken the flanks of Gordon Miners. And stop him just walking forward so much as well. Right. Just really walking through and to land punches like that. That's what he's looking for. Some are missing, but obviously some are connecting, and those ones that connect are really rattling the brain of Rob Lloyd. Very, very Four. strong and durable Four. is Rob Lloyd. Six. As Seven. I predicted, I think Eight. Gordon Miners is going to try and take him out in the second round now. I don't think he's all right. So Rob, he said he was, but I think it's only a matter of time now. I think a couple more and the referee's going to step in. He's just looking very closely. Very, very closely. Rob Lloyd, a desperate last attempt, gets up with some good ones. He just needs to shoot the knee now when he's in close. Very, very shortly. He's looking very closely at Rob Lloyd, but he still looks okay at the moment. Still a little bit of fight left in him yet. Yes. Referee giving him the full sort of chance to carry on fighting in this K1 semi final. And to be fair, he's trying hard. He's, Gordon's still got to be careful. He's walking in there and he's taking these jabs to get that big punch off again. One more overhand right, I think, will do it, really. How oh, Rob Lloyd's still in there, I don't know. He's hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Another looping right and left hand. Rocks and the head back. As well, Howard. It's all good stuff from Gordon Miners, but he just cannot put Rob Lloyd away. Yes, Rob, I think he's fighting on instinct now, Howard. Instinct he is. Alone. Instinct and pride is the only thing keeping Rob Lloyd on his feet. Another straight right and left to the face. The referee surely must stop this now. Surely. And he's in. And it's all over for Rob Lloyd, a place in the final for Gordon Miners. I feel that was a late stoppage, Howard. I think five, six punches earlier, that should have finished. Rob Lloyd, how he stayed on his feet, I don't know, Howard, but I feel although he's on his feet, the stoppage should have come earlier. He was, he was out of it in that. Quite possibly, quite possibly. So here we go, Howard, looking at this. He's stalking him the whole time. Big, big punch. He's rocking left, then the right's coming in. And at the end of the day, how he stayed on his feet, I don't know. The ropes kept him up there. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the and referee he stops the, the end of the round. The winner in the fantastic, red corner. fantastic Gordon performance Miner. by both fighters. But a deserved victory. The more powerful, the more accurate. Gordon Miners. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to show your appreciations uh, to a very courageous opponent indeed, Rod Lloyd.